find it that video live streaming is strictly prohibited in the commission chambers. Uh, we welcome audio and video recordings, although uh, the work areas in the back corners are designated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the July 12th, 2021 County Commission meeting. Uh, I'm gonna ask our Sheriff uh, John Fuson to call our meeting to order. Ask that you please remain standing for the pledge given by Commissioner Joe Creek and our invocation also given by Mr. Joe Creek. All rise. Oh yes, oh yes, our Honorable Board of County Commissioners is now in session pursuant to adjournment. Now may God save this state and this Honorable Board of County Commissioners. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this legislative body and our willingness to serve. We just pray for the family of Miss Kendall. Miss Kendall was a loyal public servant both in the school system and as a commission and also as a community leader in many ways. Her endeavors will never be forgotten. Now lead and guide and direct us now in our meeting tonight and let us respect one another when our, faith, our views may differ. For it's in Christ's name I pray, amen. 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 Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the roll, please, ma'am? We have 20 present, one absent. Thank you, ma'am. Commissioners, I have a proclamation to, to read, and before I step down to the other podium, uh, just want to bring to your attention the presentation uh, by the Parks Department, the 10-year master plan. That is being postponed, and that will be uh, at our August informal meeting. So it's my honor tonight to be able to read this proclamation. And before I do, I'd like for the American Legion Post uh, 289 rifle team to please come forward. And I think there's probably some members of this organization that may want to allow a family member to take a picture uh, without objection from the commission. Uh, we'll allow that to happen. Seeing no objection, y'all are welcome to step in the middle aisle and take a picture. So if you would, uh, I'd like to read this proclamation by the county mayor. Whereas the American Legion was chartered by Congress in September 1919 as a patriotic veterans organization, devoted to mutual helpfulness, programs, and services to veterans, veterans' families, and communities. 
whereas the American Legion is the most influential nonprofit group in the United States and has nearly 2 million members and worldwide has over 13,000 posts, including the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Mexico, and the Philippines. And whereas the American Legion Post 289 Rifle Team of Clarksville, Tennessee, has honored the patriotism of veterans throughout Montgomery County since being issued a temporary charter in February of 2016 and received their permanent charter on November 11th, 2016. And whereas American Legion Post 289 is com commanded by David Zevany, Jr., and under the directive of Sergeant-at-Arms Robert Bob Sisson, Post 289 has provided full military honor funerals to veterans in Clarksville, Montgomery County for many years. And whereas during one of our nation's worst pandemics in over 100 years, Post 289 Rifle Team continued the patriotic duty of providing full military honors to veterans during the COVID-19 pandemic. Post 289 volunteered over 417 hours and performed 32 full military honor funerals from January 2020 to June of 2021, spending countless hours training, volunteering, and putting veterans' families before themselves. Whereas Post 289 Rifle Team continues to promote peace and goodwill, goodwill all while maintaining their core principles of justice, freedom and democracy. The Post continues it, its Americanism and patriotic observances by educating and preparing scouts for tomorrow by taking part in parades and placing flags on heroes' graves. Now, therefore, I, Jim Durrett, Mayor of Montgomery County, Tennessee, and on behalf of the citizens of this community, do hereby recognize the American Legion Post 289 Rifle Team for their dedication and patriotism to our great community and veterans worldwide. Thank you all. I would also like to thank Commissioner Walker Woodruff for bringing this matter to this body. So thank you, Commissioner Woodruff. All right, commissioners, uh, our first item of business are zoning resolutions. Uh, first one is CZ 15-2021, application of Oak Hill Estates from AG to E1. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Lewis, second Commissioner Butts. Any discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? We have 20 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Next is CZ 16 2021, application of Robert E. Morgan from AG to E1. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Riccone, second, Commissioner Rasnick. Any discussion? 
If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? We have 20 yeses, zero noes, and zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Resolution CZ 17 2021, application of Gordon C from AG to R1. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Knight, second Commissioner Chandler. Any discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? 17 yeses, three noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. CZ 19, 2021, application to Richard Davis from AG to C2. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Bill, second Commissioner Ray, any discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? 20 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Under zoning, old business, CZ 13, 2021, application to Jane Walker from AG to R1. This was deferred from June. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Lewis, second Commissioner Bryant, any discussion? Commissioner Joe Smith. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to speak on this one because I'm the one who asked for the deferment last month so we could go back and have a little more study on this case while the walkers surveyed off the actual portion of land that they wanted to actually have rezoned. Uh, they completed that and then we were notified by outside counsel that that wasn't a move that we could make from the floor. I couldn't make a motion to amend the uh, resolution. So I guess we're just gonna have to vote on this up or down, even though TCA does say that the county legislative body may from time to time amend the number, shape, boundary, area, or any regulation of or within any district or districts or any other provision of any zoning ordinance, but any such am amendment shall not be made or become effective unless the same be first submitted for approval, disapproval, or suggestions to the Regional Planning Commission. Uh, the reason I bring that up is because that's TCA 137105. And then our own uh, county zoning resolution states that the RPC shall hear all matters relating to this petition and shall recommend approval or disapproval of said petition with reasons thereof to the county commission at the next regular session of the county commission, unless such application requires more study or a postponement is granted upon the request of the applicant. And I do believe that the walkers had kind of felt like that was their request was to have it postponed for further study by the RPC and for it to be adjusted to the new acreage. But if the outside council suggests that we cannot do that, then I guess we just need to vote up or down on it and then we'll have to bring it back before this body. Any other discussion on uh, CZ 13 2021? If you would, please register to vote, register your vote. <laughs> Commissioner Knight. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? Three yeses, 17 noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. CZ 13, 2021 fails. Commissioners, next item uh, on our agenda is our consent agenda. And before I read the consent agenda, I, I would like to let you know that uh, under uh, the adoption of our minutes clerk's report, uh, nominating committee county mayor nominations we will pull uh, the nominating committee nominations uh, and that will be voted on separately so uh, I will read the consent agenda 
All items in this portion of the agenda are considered to be routine and non-controversial by the County Commission and may be approved by one motion. However, a member of the County Commission may request that an item be removed for separate consideration. Resolution 2171, resolution to authorize Montgomery County to enter into a tri-party interlocal agreement between the City of Clarksville, Clarksville Montgomery County School System, and Montgomery County, Tennessee. Resolution 2172, resolution authorizing the application for a grant from the Local Parks and Recreation, Depart Recreation Fund by the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation for the Rotary Park restrooms. Resolution 2173, resolution accepting grant funding from the state of Tennessee's annual friendly grant for Montgomery County Animal Care and Control. Resolution 2174, resolution amending the budget of the Montgomery County Veterans Treatment Court for the reclassification of salary of the Veterans Treatment Court Director. Resolution 2175, resolution authorizing the Industrial Development Board of the County of Montgomery to retain certain identified funds for the purpose of developing an access road to the proposed East Industrial Park. Resolution 2176, resolution amending the budget of the Montgomery County Capital Projects Fund to provide funding in the amount of $500,000 to the Economic Development Council for the purpose of design and right-of-way funds for a road off International Boulevard. Resolution 2177, resolution authorizing the Montgomery County Mayor to enter into an agreement with the Tennessee Department of Transportation for the purpose of construction of a road extending from International Boulevard to property to be occupied by Project Alice William. Commission minutes dated June 14th, 2021, county clerk's report and notary list and the county mayor nominations and appointments. Are there any items that commissioners would like to see removed? Commissioner Bill. I would like to ask that we remove 2175, 76, and 77, please. Okay. Any other items? So, commissioners, we're now voting on the consent agenda. Uh, with items 2175, 2176, and 2177, and the nominating committee nominations pulled from that. If you would, please register. Oh, is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Raccone, second. Commissioner Lewis, any discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? 20 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. I'm not sure how you loaded your machine. Do you want to go with the nominating committee nominations first? And you can be putting those other ones in. I see a, a shake of the head, yes. So uh, I'm gonna ask Commissioner Keene who's chairman of the nominating committee to read the uh, nominating committee nominations and then I'll entertain a motion. Thank you, Mayor. The nominating committee met and the nominations are for beer board, Randy Albert, nominated to replace Commissioner Arnold Hodges for a three year term to expire July of 2024. Jason Knight nominated to replace Commissioner Brandon Butts for a three year term to expire in July of 2024. Loretta Bryant nominated to replace Tangy Smith, uh, an at-large member for a three-year term to expire July of 2024. And Kamel Chandler uh, nominated to replace Larry Raccone, uh, a member at large for a three-year term to expire July of 2024. For the Legislative Liaison Committee, James Lewis nominated to replace Commissioner David Harper for a two-year <laughs> term to expire July of 2023 and Loretta Bryant nominated to replace Commissioner John Gannon for a two-year term to expire July of 2023. Agricultural Extension Committee, Randy Albert nominated to fill an unexpired term of Commissioner Ar Arnold Hodges for a term to expire January of 2022. Zoning Board of Appeals, Charles King nominated to replace 
uh, Rashida Leverett for a five-year term to expire July of 2026. David Harper nominated to replace Jerry Albert for a five-year term to expire July of 2026. The library board, uh, regional library board, um, which is going to be dissolved by state statute on June 30th of 2022, next, next June 30th. Um, and the two that are nominated for that are Jacqueline Crouch, nominated to replace unexpired term of Gerald Beavers with a term to expire June 30th of 2022. And Matthew Ellis, nominated to serve another term uh, to expire June 30th of 2022. And that's the nominations from the nominating committee. Is it, are you making that in the form of a motion? And, and we, that, was, that was our a motion. And do you want to make that motion tonight? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Is there a second? Commissioner Ray, any discussion on the nominating committee nominations? If you would, please register your vote. Does anyone want to change your vote? Uh, does anyone want to change your vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? 17 yeses, zero noes, three abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. And I, I'm assuming from, for your machine, you want to go to 2175? I see some heads nodding. Resolution 2175, resolution authorizing the Industrial De Development Board of the County of Montgomery to retain certain identified funds for the purpose of developing an access road to the proposed East Industrial Park. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Pritchard, second. Commissioner Knight, any discussion? If you, if you would, please register your vote. Anyone, would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? 19 yeses, one no, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Resolution 2176, resolution amending the budget of the Montgomery County Capital Projects Fund to provide funding in the amount of $500,000 to the e Economic Development Council for the purpose of design and right-of-way funds for a road off International Boulevard. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Johnson, second Commissioner Gannon. Any discussion on 2176? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? 19 yeses, one no, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. 2177 is a resolution authorizing the Montgomery County Mayor to enter into an agreement with the Tennessee Department of Transportation for the purpose of construction of a road extending from International Boulevard to property to be occupied by Project Alice William. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Knight, second. Commissioner Rasnick, any discussion on 2177? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? 19 yeses, one no, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Commissioner, next on our agenda are resolutions. Um, we have a resolution without objection from the floor. We'll suspend the rules to hear 2178. Seeing no objections from the floor, uh, we have suspended our rules. 2178 is a resolution to execute a lease agreement with 911 Emergency Communication District of Montgomery County, Tennessee for space occupied by the Emergency Management Agency. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Harper, second. Commissioner Joe Smith, any discussion on 2178? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Cottrell, would you please tally the vote? 20 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Commissioners, we have no unfinished business unless any of you do. 
Seeing none, our reports filed, you'll see that uh, from our informal meeting, the accounts and budgets monthly report has been filed uh, under our, our announcements. And uh, Mr. Creek mentioned this in her prayer, and I certainly appreciate that. But uh, we certainly want to express our condolences to, to Commissioner Lady Kendall's family. Uh, her service will be on Wednesday, July 14th at noon at St. John's Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, she served on this commission uh, for 42 years from 1972 to 2014, and we just continue to ask that uh, her family be in your prayers. Uh, without, uh, I'm going to now call on Sheriff Fusan to adjourn our meeting. All right, all rise. Oh, yes, oh, yes, this honorable board of county commissioners now stands adjourned. Now may God save this state and this honorable board of county commissioners. Good evening.